question seven, um, we are just supposed to figure out which of these um, expressions are equal to the length of BC. So basically what we're doing is we're finding this length right here. So you can see that the first two are using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's check that one out first and see if either of those is correct. So with Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. A and B are the legs. Those are the two that make up the right angle. C is the one that's opposite the right angle. So six, this would have to be equal to six squared. And you can see that this one's in a little bit different format than what we're used to. So if we do A squared plus 4.9 squared, in order to get X by itself, the first thing we would have to do is subtract 4.9 from both sides sorry, 4.9 squared. And so then we would get x squared is equal to 6 squared minus 4.9 squared. And you can kind of see where this is going with this one. It's kind of looking like it might be this one. And then the last thing that we have to do with the Pythagorean theorem all the time is take the square root. So x would be equal to, or the length of bc would be equal to the square root of 6 squared minus 4.9 squared. So this one would actually work. This one won't work because you've got two different things. 4.6 minus 4.9 squared can't be the same thing as 4.9 squared plus 6. So I know that if this one is true, this one cannot be true. So the next two we're talking about the sine of 55. So remember sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And we know the opposite and we know the hypotenuse. So we can't really use the sine on either of these two. However, the next two are using the tangent, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Because remember, this is where our theta is, opposite over adjacent. So this is what we're looking for. So we know that these two aren't going to work, so maybe one of these two would work. So 4.9 tangent of 50, 55, or 4.9 divided by the tan of 55. So if we were going to set this up, we would do the tangent of uh, 55 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Well, I know what the opposite is. The opposite is <clears throat> 4.9. And remember that when A is in the denominator or X is in the denominator, we flip-flop these two things. So this would be A is equal to 4.9 over the tangent of 55. So it can't be 4.9 times the tangent of 55 and 4.9 divided by the tangent of 55. So we have to make sure that we pick the correct one, which is this one. And the last one is working with cosine of 55. So again, theta is down here. We have our adjacent, we have the hypotenuse. Remember that cosine is adjacent and the hypotenuse. So these are the two that we wanna work with. So cosine of 55 is equal to the adjacent, which is our x, over hypotenuse, which is 6. And since x is in the numerator, this time we want to multiply by 6. And so we get x is equal to the cosine of 55 times 6. So it can't also be 6 divided by the cosine of 55 and 6 times the cosine of 55. So it can only be one of these two.